Hi friends, we are Sandra and Timo, aka Monazi, and we spent the last two years traveling through Europe full time in our self converted van Parker. We lived the most amazing adventures and had the best time living on the road, made awesome friends, and saw the most beautiful places. But now we are ready for something new. So we decided to go back home, pack our bags, and get ready for a new adventure. With way too many bags, we flew 16,000 kilometers away from home and made it all the way to Australia. Join us gathering and assembling things to create the perfect home in Melbourne. Hello there, next day you see there's a pen behind my ear and we tackle maybe this issue here. We want to have some curtains here in the sunroom. We actually have this curtains here, those things that you can put up and down but yeah nothing for this front and if we want to be in the room I think it would be nice. So a little update. We got those bar stools, those high stools, which are gonna live around there with the island when it arrives. And here's the shelf. We were very adventurous and actually just put it on the nails on those um, yeah, strings or whatever those are, like bamboo kind of things. And it holds up, so we gamble and just don't put so heavy stuff on it so we don't have to do more holds. And here's a new project happening. Um, this is going to be a little shelf behind the couch and we actually we have two of those We want to cut them One of them we have to cut for the legs and the other one for the whole way goes behind the couch You will see it once it's assembled, but we have to take some measurements and go to Bunnings and get it cut Hopefully they do that. So before we go to Ikea and actually get I don't know if it's actually a good idea to get the curtains in Ikea, but we just don't have any other idea at the moment. So we're probably gonna go there. We have to go to Bunnings to rent a driller slash electric screwdriver for a day. Maybe we even get one, we'll see. But this board has to be cut and we already took the measurements. So I'm gonna mark it where it has to be cut and then we go to Bunnings first to have this board a bit compacter, a bit smaller. Okay, little change of plans here. You see that this wood already has holes and we're gonna see if they maybe sell legs that we could use and then we just have to screw them in and we don't have to do all the cutting action and stuff. So we leave the board here, if not this is a project for another day and we see if we find something. And we found something in Bunnings, we're gonna get drill driver uh, with cord and some drill bits and we have to go to Ikea to actually Get some curtains and a curtain rod. How are you doing? I got angry but I am now. She lost me in Bunnings. I just ran away. Happens from time to time. If you know, you know. Hot day like today, nothing better than fresh orange juice. And this time, part free. The last video, I was struggling with my pup in my juice. Wait, Cheers. puppy. Yeah. Let's do it. Best juice in Australia. Unless obviously you squeeze your oranges. We are close to Ikea by the way. <laughs> Cheers guys. Cheers. Winter is coming. Actually no, we are in the middle of the summer but today we are going to install this curtain rod and the curtains in the, how they call it, sunroom. Today is the day where we assemble some stuff. Actually I also picked up a second hand piano, it just lives there right now in a humongous case. Much bigger than the piano. But anyway, let's get this puppy on the wall and let's see how the curtains look. We get so much light from here and heat and we feel a bit exposed so we have to take care of it. We don't have a letter. I picked up the stools yesterday but I just want to read you the sticker on the bottom <laughs> before we assemble. It says, do not stand on the stool, oops, use for one person only, no problem. Do not use the stool as a step ladder. Hmm. Let's see what we're gonna do. Don't use the stool unless all screws are firmly screwed. I think they're screwed but uh, load 90 kilos so should be fine. I should be just okay. So you're just gonna break half of the rules? Yeah. All right, let's do it. So in the description it says, the screw is included and we were already suspicious. How would you fix this thing with one screw? Turns out you have to get your own screws to put them on the wall. <laughs> that means we have to go to Bunnings once again, probably. And yeah, get the stuff and also the fittings that you put in the wall before you screw them in. We didn't want to go out again, but I guess we have no choice if we wanna. They have some 
Yes. Yeah, if the curtain has wants to be up today, so let's see. <laughs> the curtain wants to be up. I think the curtain finish. really wants to be up, yeah. <laughs> it's in the in the packaging, like please put me up. And we are out of bunnings, we got a handsaw and some other things. Because actually they don't do any cuttings and we have another project for today probably. <laughs> so let's hope now we have everything gathered together to hang the curtains and do our other project. Maybe the hands. And, ac and actually before we came here, we, it's not even a detour, it's, it's on the way, but we went to a hot sauce shop, which was really cool. Maybe we can put some clips here that we took on Instagram. And, and yeah, I'm keen to try a hot sauce that we got. But now I can't wait to be home and put everything together. I think these are the coolest safety glasses. Sandra sunglasses, they're not the best ones. So I'm gonna use them because I'm gonna be close to the drilling action. Let's go. What a fail. Fail. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> we did all this thing. And then the driller doesn't fit. I think if I put the bit in a bit more. No, I can't go more in. So there's no way we're gonna do Kay. all there. I have another idea. We have to put it here probably yeah. at the end. Okay? Let's do it. Now we know. We just don't want to put it all the way in because when we have to take it out to cover the wall, I'm just not sure if we can get a hold of it. Yeah. Maybe it's a mistake. But we're gonna try, I think. So for the fact that we built a van, I'm not... I'm not very proud of this moment. It's not a very proud moment, yeah. Maybe we have to go deeper, I'm not sure. Let's, let's try. Yeah. So that really didn't work out. Man, that is so frustrating. So the curtain rod is, when it's fully extended, I think 320 here over the space, and we just bought two hooks. And in order to make proper use of the curtains and the rod, we actually need two more hooks. Anyway, there's no way we're gonna get this rod straight without bending. So I guess we have to go to IKEA again. I can't believe it, I'm so frustrated right now. But I want to see the curtain ha hanging by the end of the day, so let's go. Things turned very different right now. They got ugly. Timo is really frustrated because we can't get this thing done. And you might be surprised, but he's going to IKEA alone. I'm going to stay here and tackle a different project. So hopefully by the end of the day, we're done with all of the big projects. And that's it. It's on his own. It's going to IKEA. Good luck, baby. Thank you. I can't believe I'm saying that, but I'm actually going alone to IKEA. And already by me saying that, you can you can see my level of frustration. I just want to get it done, so let's go. Let's go, let's go. And you and I, guys, we stay here and we tackle the behind the couch little section. Since bunnies didn't actually do cuttings in the wood, we decided to buy this guy. <laughs> it's pretty big and theoretically pretty sharp. Let's see how we go. I'm gonna try to drill some holes and cut in between with this thing. Let's see how we go. Half an hour later, I'm covering sweat and I haven't really even cut half of a piece. Definitely, I think that saw we bought is not for wood, or I'm not really good at it. Um, yes, so i struggling a little. I'm just dreaming of having a table saw and just chip, but we don't have one, so we have to work with what we have. Let's keep going. Definitely, we need to try if our laundry machine actually works because I'm disgusting, but let's do it. Let's do piece number two. Okay, I have the two pieces now and it's time to drill them into the big piece. And in case you're wondering, what the hell are you doing, Sandra? Why on earth are you cutting a thing and not buying one thing already done? Well, it was not so easy to find this specific thing that we wanted. We saw it when we came to see the house and I thought it was Jenny's idea. So I wanted to do the same and we couldn't find it. So I said to myself, I can make it. 
Am I regretting that enthusiastic Sandra? Yes, but we're halfway there. I made it back, it was actually a smooth ride, listened to some music and we already um, put the new shelf in place which sits just here behind the couch so we can put some plants and stuff. Maybe not the best construction work but also we had shitty tools. We invested I think four dollars in this saw which is literally nothing. Oh, you're doing, you're making it official? I make it official. Nice. Yeah, but at the end, good tools make all the difference, but we don't, we don't have any, so this is what we did with what we had. And I think with a straight cut, this could have worked actually even better, but now it's working already. Alrighty, next project, last project for today, hopefully, curtain. Do I see curtains hanging? Partially, yes. Partially. <laughs> yeah, so guys, we made it work with our crappy tools, but as you can see, the curtains are a tiny bit too, uh, yeah. Too short on the sides. Too short on the sides, so yeah, we figure it out tomorrow, but at least we have something hanging now because the sun is killing us. It makes a huge difference though. I it does. Check. And check. Something has arrived. Yeah, bed frame has arrived. I got angry this morning because they tried to deliver something. We were here, nobody tried. So... Slowly things are arriving and uh, yeah, this is the first thing we get, the bed frame. And I'm not gonna lie, it was cheap, so I'm not expecting a lot. And that the two pieces are full of resin or glue already. Does it make me very happy, but let's see how we go. You build a little fortress there? <laughs> I'm on it. Seems easy, but it's a bit tricky because probably the pieces are shit and stuff doesn't align, but hey. We get in there. I'm happy to have a crafty wife. The bed frame is already standing. And you can see that we got a new delivery and Monito is already on it for a chest of drawers that will go here. I'm missing a piece. You're missing a piece? Missing it's a not piece. a good start. Let's assemble this bad boy. Good job. After we assembled last night the chest of drawers, we are actually lucky enough to receive a new item. I think that must be the kitchen island. We already have the high chest here, so let's unpack this puppy and put it together. And then I'm also going to show you a little update in the sunroom, because I found a piece of furniture that is temporarily actually super handy, so I'll show it to you in a minute. But first, for some reason the camera was not filming. So we realized it's not the kitchen island, it's the coffee table and it's a bit of a special one because we didn't find any on Facebook marketplace and also here we tried to be on a budget so we found actually two that somehow come together. It's a bit of a funny one, you will see in a minute. Do you maybe want to comment on the first coffee table we have standing there? Um, we just <laughs> we just noticed it's quite low, but also compared to our current coffee table, anything is low, I guess. But it'd be better than nothing. Also it's definitely special, I'm not so convinced yet if this was the right choice. I somehow thought that they were a bit higher, so our idea was that for example want to eat soup or something on the, on the floor, that we could just sit there, but I don't know if it's a bit too low. Anyway, we'll see. it's gonna be a bit, is it Japanese when you sit on the ground yeah. for eating? It's a bit Japanese, yeah. We embrace the Japanese. 
Also, I promised a little update in the sunroom. You see today it's very windy and gray and not so nice. So what happened here is we got a extra guitar stand and a piano stand. I mentioned that I got a second-hand electric piano. And I found this little desk here. Temporarily I use it here in the studio um, yeah, to work and set up things. I found it downstairs in front of the trash, so someone wanted to get rid of it and I got it. And this chair arrived. So we are just waiting here for the table and still we are waiting for the kitchen island here, which hopefully arrives very soon. It is absolutely pissing outside and we still went for a run. We already showered. Our shoes are here in the entrance drying. They are completely soaked. And there's only one thing that you can have for lunch with this weather, which is soup. And we're gonna put the coffee table slash couch table to a test and try to have soup on it. And I think it's a bit low, but we're gonna find out in just a minute. And the second table can conveniently hold our entertainment while we eat. So let's see how that goes. It is time, once again, we received the big box. This time it's the desk for the sunroom. And this was the little emergency desk, which is now the emergency kitchen island. And we're still waiting for the kitchen island to arrive. And the boxes are piling up, so we put this guy together, go down to the trash, and then we just wait for the last piece of furniture. Hopefully it makes it here before we wrap up this video. But now let's do something. So apparently someone has blamed me for not taking the right measurements. So let's see if it fits. It's 150 from here to here and the table is 150. It's gonna be... Just enough. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, Nini. No. To the millimeter. Good. This is the table here. So maybe it's good that we had this distance because you can't put it on. You can't put the curtain on this side? Yes, yes, oh, yeah, you can. Just enough. Wow, but Pretty good. Pretty nice. It's huge. But the room looks already bigger, bigger somehow. Yeah, yeah. My baby wants a studio, my baby gets a studio. Let's finish it. Good morning. How are you spending your morning? <laughs> <laughs> I had enough of this thing. I know we bought cheap, but it doesn't make any sense. All of the drawers, all of the bottom drawers, are designed to easily open them from the top. But this one, you can't really because it's flush with the top, so you have to go from underneath. Makes no sense to me. So, got a little hook and I'm gonna install him in here so that we can just pull the jaw out. Genius. So. Go for it, Piggy. I like your protection for your underwear. <laughs> it's important. <laughs> I can let you go, baby. Much better. Of this video, you saw us assembling things together, and the house is getting pretty much ready. 
only missing the kitchen iron and very soon hopefully we can give you an apartment tour showing you how the final result looks like. If you enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and we're also going to see you guys next week for another video. By the way, if you want to join us for more daily updates and adventures, follow us on Instagram. Our Instagram is Ria and then we can also connect there. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye.